I want to go ahead and start my presentation. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Um, the only thing is if I'm a little concerned about if I share my screen, if I'll be able to still al allow participants in. You know what I'm saying? That's the one thing I'm nervous about. Um, we're gonna go for it though. Go ahead and share the screen. Give me one moment, please. I'm not a Zoom master, but we will make do. Okay, can you guys hear me? Please type okay in the chat if you can hear me. Or, yeah, that's good too. Thumbs up. Okay, um, do you see the Omen Wellness screen? No. Oh, not yet. It's still loading for me. Oh, um, let me try that again. Sorry, one second. Share screen. We have to go to tab. Oh, someone's in the waiting room. Admit. Okay, just a moment while I share my screen. Um, we are going to go to Can you guys see the Omen Wellness screen? Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. We are going to present this bad boy. Present. Oh, why is it being weird? That was strange. Present full screen. Here we go. Okay, you guys see this okay? Okay, I'm gonna make you, I need to have both screens up, both Zoom and this, because I also have to let people into the room as they come on. Okay, hi. This is me, and I'm gonna talk about how functional medicine coaching can change your life. This is part one of a three-part series. Today is Tuesday, January 17th and it started at 8 p.m. So tomorrow on Wednesday and also on Thursday, same time, same place, we'll continue the three-part presentation. Here's kind of an overview. Today is kind of an introduction to who I am and about functional medicine and about the coaching business that I have created. And I am excited to start, and I, I thank everyone for being here tonight to learn about it. Day two, I'm gonna talk about why the hair tissue mineral analysis will blow your mind. It's very fascinating. And the more that I am learning about minerals, the more I'm just so intrigued. Definitely have my nerd glasses on. I've been totally nerding out on them. Um, and then day three, I wanna take you guys through a case study. I'm actually going to show you my results and walk you through if you were to hire me to go over a hair tissue mineral, your hair tissue mineral analysis with you, what it would look like and kind of what you would expect just by going through my own with you. Make sense? Okay. So today is day one, and the overview is going to be my story and what is functional medicine, why nutrition is key, and why minerals are important, and the Omen Wellness Method, kind of the order that I'll be going in and the services I'm going to be rolling out in 2023. And then we're going to do a wrap up and I'll answer any questions that you may have. Okay, so now is the time to tell my story. Um, some of you have probably already heard my story. Some of you haven't. So therefore, I will, I will tell my story. I'll try not to spend 45 minutes telling my story, though. But this is, this is what I will tell you. I was born to a couple of humans who immigrated here to the USA from Romania in the 1980s when it was a communist country. I had food to eat, but the vibe in my home was pretty low, and I knew I needed to venture out and become a self-sufficient human. 
I carried my tra childhood traumas with me to college as most people do. And uh, fast forward, I graduated from Campbell University School of Pharmacy in 2010. The same year I got married and my mom passed away. I worked for a large retail chain pharmacy for 14 years. And somewhere in between, I got divorced, immediately jumped into another relationship, which I was in for over seven years. And um, I also became a certified personal trainer and certified in nutrition by NASM. Um, anyway, long story short, I got severely burned out in my job. I knew eating well and exercise was always something that made me feel good and helped control my mental health. So I dove really deep into that. I did some bodybuilding competitions in the bikini division, and that helped distract me for a while. After my third competition, though, I got very depressed and I went on an antidepressant, which seemed to help for a little while. About a year later, I was starting to prep for my fourth competition, and that's kind of when I hit rock bottom. The antidepressant stopped working, my brain stopped working, I couldn't think clearly, I felt sad, I felt hopeless, I was crying every day. Um, it was not good. But my counselor, I was seeing a counselor for a couple years, and she recommended I try brain mapping and neurofeedback. And that revealed that something metabolic was going on with me. And I felt betrayed by the healthcare system who never caught this before and just put me on an antidepressant. And I discovered functional medicine and holistic health. And that changed my life. The crying stopped. I got my brain back. And then I had the mental energy, alertness, and capacity to tackle the real root causes of my misery at the time. So I had to start saying goodbye to things in my life that were not contributing to my well being. I made some big, scary, massive changes, and um, not all at once, but over the next year, I quit competing, I quit my stressful job, I ended my over seven year relationship. I healed some childhood traumas. I went on a solo six month self-discovery journey where I traveled through Europe and Asia. I opened my mind and my soul to new experiences, made lots of new connections with people. And here I am now creating a new business using functional medicine approach so that I can hopefully be the catalyst in your life transformation. Just like my coach, who's Rachel, Rachel Shear, was the catalyst in my life life transformation. So that didn't take too long, actually. I'm impressed that I got through my like life story in just a few minutes. <laughs> All right, so that was my story. Let's continue on to the next slide. Let's talk about the functional medicine approach and what it is. So functional medicine uses data from lab tests to help catch metabolic disturbances early so that an intervention can be made now in an effort to prevent illness down the road. It also helps uncover the root causes of your symptoms, and it works to optimize your health and well-being. Functional medicine practitioners tend to view your health from a holistic point of view, where factors pertaining to your mind, body, and spirit are considered because being unwell in one aspect affects you in others. There are many modalities to holistic health, but what they all have in common is that they encourage the body to heal on its own innate ability or the ability you were given at birth and not on the reliance of pharmaceuticals. If I had to put functional medicine in a category, of course, it would be the body category, but it's not uncommon that people who start down this journey um, end up having, you know, kind of a life transformation because we will encourage a good functional medicine coach will encourage you to be looking at other aspects of your life and not just what's going on in your body. Okay, why might someone seek help from a functional medicine specialist? Well, I could give you a bazillion D reasons why, but I'm gonna read these ones off to you. So it could be you, your doctor tells you your labs are normal, but you still have symptoms. That's a common one. It could be you're healthy and you just want to optimize your health. It could be you're an athlete and you want to further improve your performance. Maybe you're a bodybuilder and you've been on a competition prep 
And now you want to see what nutritional deficiencies you have, because surely you have some because those diets are not healthy. I can tell you from personal experience. Um, maybe you're overweight and you want to improve your metabolism so that it's easier for you to lose weight. Maybe certain illnesses run in your family and you just want to prevent them from happening to you. Maybe it's dementia, diabetes, osteoporosis, heart disease, cancer, whatever. Okay, so maybe you're experiencing um, vague symptoms like brain fog. It could be a million different things. Uh, it could be attention deficit, anxiety, depression. And the only answer your doctor has is to put you on ADD meds or anti-depression meds or anxiety meds. And that's it. You get put, you get a prescription and you're sent home after like talking to your doctor for maybe 10 minutes. You don't really have many answers there. Um, so it could be that you've developed an illness like hypertension or diabetes or high cholesterol and you're motivated to better control it or possibly even reverse it without the use of pharmaceuticals. Maybe you've traveled to other countries recently and you've consumed questionable foods. Um, that's, you may wanna have a gut test when you get back. <laughs> okay, it could be that you're taking medications known to cause mineral imbalances and you wanna check birth control, antacids, antidepressants. These are all things that all cause um, mineral imbalances. Okay, I put you have an IUD on here because IUDs can cause um, mineral imbalances. Specifically, it can make you hold on to copper and not just the copper IUD, also the estrogen IUD because birth control and has estrogen in it too. So whether it was the medicated IUD or not, it can cause you to hold on to copper and that can cause copper toxicity and that can cause all kinds of things. All right, maybe you're very stressed out and you wanna see how it's impacting your health. Maybe you feel like you need like coffee or caffeine to get through the day because you're just otherwise feeling so tired. That could be a sign of adrenal fatigue. Pretty much anyone who wants to check anything um, and about their current diet whether or not your current diet is providing you with the correct balance of nutrients, you know, anybody for any reason could get this done. Even kids, because kids are growing and it's important they have a good mineral profile, good nutrition so that they have what they need to grow and thrive in a healthy way. All right, let's talk about Western medicine because it still has its place and I want to give a disclaimer. If and when you decide to work with me, please note, I am a doctor of pharmacy. However, I'm not working as your doctor or your pharmacist. I'm working in the capacity of a health coach. The laboratory test results and the comprehensive report that follows should not be construed as diagnostic. This analysis is provided only as an additional source of information to be considered alongside diagnostics that your primary care provider obtains. If you have an acute condition, please seek medical attention. If you have a, a medical emergency, please seek urgent care. Okay, so I created a business called Omen Wellness, which I am launching. And I appreciate you all being here to celebrate that with me this week. And I wanna tell you a little bit about it. So, Omen. <clears throat> O stands for optimize your health. M stands for mindset work. E stands for evolve into the best feeling version of you because I truly want that for everyone. N is the new factor approach, which I think that needs some explanation because that's kind of a term that I made up, but there is science behind it. They, I just don't think they have an official name for it. So I kind of named it to this. But every time we learn something new, our brains form new neurons and new connections. And this is referred to as neurogenesis and plasticity. And that can, can, can slow the onset or progression of dementia. Having a sound mind is one of the keys, three keys to optimal health, right? Mind, body, and soul. So any, anything new that you do, it could be learning a new instrument, it could be reading a new book, having a conversation with a new person, 
taking the new way home, challenging your old beliefs, traveling to a new place, or learning about your health and what's going on inside your body with these tests. Um, because, let me skip to this one for a sec. <clears throat> Every test that we do is going to reveal some new information about you. It's like putting together the puzzle piece of your life. You'll be like, oh, that's why I always had this going on in my life. That explains this. So each test, you'll have some kind of revelation like that. The more information you have about yourself, the more you can do to effectively move your life in the direction you want to go. <clears throat> so I also just want to talk a second about my symbol. I'm not sure if you guys notice what it is exactly, but it's a crystal ball and it's also an eye and it's also this is a flame. So it's kind of like you looking into this crystal ball and are you going to be aware and you know take be proactive about your health and see what's going on now or are you going to ignore all your symptoms and wait till it catches fire and there's something serious to deal with and then my slogan is being proactive with your health is a good omen and on the converse ignoring all those little symptoms which are whispers from your body telling you something is wrong that is a, that can be a bad omen if you just ignore your health. <clears throat> so I want to talk a minute about the process and what I'm planning for 2023. And <clears throat> it starts, I'm going in a particular order for a reason. Um, I believe that nutrition is the base of all health, right? And um, with with nutrition, I'm gonna be offering the hair tissue mineral analysis, which is a hair test, it's simple. I can mail it to anyone in the US at this point. Um, there may be an option for us to expand in the future. Um, if there are corporate accounts, um, at my mentor and I would be partnering on those. She's opening Story Wellness, which is going to be doing um, corporate accounts, basically. But for now, just little old me, um, I would mail you this hair, hair kit in the mail and send you a video on how to collect your sample. And this is recommended at least once a year. But if we find something going on and that we're actively treating, we may want to retest every three to four months until it's under control. So that's phase one, is getting your nutrition down. That's the basics. Phase two would be gut health, and that's a stool and a blood test. And this would be um, the blood test you would go, um, I would tell you which lab to go to near you to get, the, get your blood drawn. Um, the company is going to mail you from them directly to you, the kit. Uh, with vials and everything, and you you would take that to the place that draws blood and make sure they use the equipment that the lab sends you. And um, that's how that would happen. And then the stool test you would do yourself at home and send it directly to the lab kit. Again, these, these are kits that we mailed to your house and you would either go get your blood drawn with the kit or you do your stool test at home and then send that off in the mail. So hopefully you just have to do the gut health test once, but um, there may be occasions where you would want to retest or maybe you've been traveling where you've been taking antibiotics or something and, you, and your gut's acting up and maybe you want to test again. Phase three is epigenetics. See how you can eat for your genetics or what lifestyle changes you can make to lower your risk of developing your genetic predispositions. And that would be just one time ever that you would have to do that because your genetics aren't gonna change. Um, for example, I have two variations in the MTHFR gene that make me very likely to have depression. So to, cure, to counteract that, I have to make sure I'm eating a diet very high in folate, which is the active form of folic acid. I can't take folic acid, my body cannot convert it into its active form. Um, so that's actually a very, very common one. Um, 40 to 50% of the population have some kind of variations in that gene that affect their ability to methylate. Um, and that can cause a slew of health 
issues. Um, it just depends on the person as how they show up. Um, and then it could also test you for lots of other things, like maybe you need more omega-3s in your diet compared to other people. Um, it's very interesting. So it's kind of like a way to biohack your health is to know what you're predisposed to and to tackle that. Last but not least, we would check hormones. And this is a urine test. Again, it would be mailed to you. And how often depends, maybe just once, um, maybe once a year if you're actively being treated for something. So this is the um, trajectory of, of what we would be doing. Um, you don't, you're not obligated to do all of them, um, but even if you wanted your hormones checked, I would still recommend you start with nutrition. And the reason is this hair tissue mineral analysis can even tell us some things about your hormones. And if we can just get your nutrition right and fix that mineral imbalance, then that may take care of the hormones and you may not have to pay for that test when the problem is really over here in the basics. We have to get the basics down first before you go over here because you may be working on your hormones in vain if you can't fix the basics, if that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, great. All right, so why am I beginning with nutrition? Nutri nutrients are necessary for life. Nutritional deficiencies, overages, and imbalances occurring over an extended time can be detrimental to our physical and mental well-being. Oftentimes, we can provide our bodies with the correct balance of nutrients and it will heal on its own and optimal health can be restored. And why do I begin with minerals? Minerals are the spark plugs of life. They are required to activate more than 20,000 enzymes found in the human body, which are responsible for countless metabolic functions in all phases of the life process. Most people today have nutritional mineral imbalances and toxic mineral accumulations at the cellul cellular level. <clears throat> Due to homeostasis, these mineral imbalances are generally not picked up on your annual blood work. And this can lead to frustration at your doctor's office because they may be telling you that you're healthy when you're experiencing symptoms. And it's not that blood work isn't helpful. It is certainly good at detecting when you are very sick and something is seriously wrong. The hair just provides a different perspective. It is a window into the activity of minerals at a cellular level versus in the blood. Mineral excesses are relatively difficult for the body to clear compared to most vitamin excesses. Your body may still be storing excess minerals that it was exposed to from years ago. So I wanna talk more about the hair mineral check. Um, so it can detect mineral deficiencies, surpluses and imbalances like we said before. It can be more effective at picking up certain metabolic disturbances early, sometimes even years before it would show up in your blood work. It can also show you the past three month average of what you've been consuming, whereas blood work only shows you a snapshot in time. It's the test that the EPA recommends for the detection of heavy metals in the body. It was invented in the 1970s by Dr. Eck and Dr. Watts. <clears throat> Dr. Watts, let me tell you about him. He started his own lab service in 1984 called Trace Elements, and he still runs this company to this day. And it's not the only company that offers the hair tissue mineral analysis, but it's probably the most established one. Let me admit somebody in here, excuse me. Okay, so Dr. Watts started his own lab service and it's called Trace Elements. And this company alone has surpassed over 1 million hair analyses. Decades of research has identified mineral patterns and how they pertain to metabolism and certain health conditions in the body. In addition to the diseases that are directly associated with too much or too little of a certain mineral, such as calcium deficiency causing osteoporosis or iron deficiency causing anemia, the hair tissue mineral analysis can also tell us about the following. 
It can tell us whether your metabolism is too fast or too slow. It can tell us whether you've ex been experiencing acute stress or burnout. It can also tell us information about your sex hormones, adrenal function, immune system, and how your body is metabolizing glucose. And that's important in the management of diabetes and prevention. Okay, so more about Dr. Watts. Oh, did I put this? I put, I put that on there twice. Yep. Um, so a simple example, I, I added some information here. <clears throat> a simple example of a mineral deficiency that can be detected earlier is calcium deficiency. And as you all know, if you don't have enough calcium in your bones, then you're more likely to develop osteoporosis. But if we can identify that you're low in calcium now, we can intervene, get you on a calcium supplement, and hopefully prevent a bone from breaking down the road. And then ongoing studies are revealing more and more information about how um, the HTMA can be helpful in the treatment of other diseases. For example, a mineral pattern has been recognized in people with multiple sclerosis. They almost always reveal a fast metabolic pattern or sympathetic dominance, and they frequently have low tissue copper. So by getting these patients on MS, well, we'd want to test them first, make sure that's indeed the case. But um, oftentimes, if we can get them on a copper supplement and balance their minerals according to their metabolic pattern, then their symptoms can be controlled, which is amazing. Okay. So um, it's 8.30, and I wanted to do some Q&A, um, but I want to tell you that it is a kind of a short presentation, and I'm doing it into three parts. And tomorrow, I'm, what I'm going to be talking about is why the hair tissue mineral analysis will blow your mind. And we'll talk more about mineral deficiencies, overages, imbalances. We'll talk about what causes them, what are the most frequent ones, how to know if you have them, what treatment might look like and for how long, and why you shouldn't just take supplements just to take supplements, and some other fun facts pertaining to minerals. I'll also be doing a couple of giveaways tomorrow, so whoever is live and active in the chat, I will, um, I will pick two of you guys and give you a prize and mail you a prize. So I encourage you guys to come on tomorrow night and put your comments and questions in the chat and you might win a little something from me. Um, this is my little flyer, by the way, my brother who is a professional graphic designer put it, helped me put it together. <clears throat> and this little flyer, we have it up in Excel Fitness Hickory and uh, in the gym there. And I'm also going to be helping to sponsor a powerlifting event at a gym in Cary, North Carolina at Bucked Up Fitness. So I'll have a booth there. And I hope if anybody comes to that, that you will come see me and we can talk all about minerals and how we can help you get your nutrition on point. I have, oh, speaking of nutrition, I have a free nutrition guide. I think most of you know, but in case you don't, if you go to omenwellness.com, there's a pop-up box that comes up. If you put your email address in there, then you'll get a free nutrition guide. There's a lot of good information there about how to eat balanced meals to prevent nutritional deficiencies. And here is my contact info. I'm on Instagram at Omen Wellness. My website's omenwellness.com. My email is info at omenwellness.com. So that's really the end of the presentation for now. And I'll take some questions. Let me get out of here. And I'll stop sharing my screen just a moment. Okay. Do we have any questions in the chat, D? Um, no, as of the moment. No. Okay. Okay. Does anybody have any questions so far? 
crickets, crickets. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate your time tonight. Um, make sure you come back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Make sure you think about what questions you might have for me and you might win a prize. I'll keep the prize a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you all. I hope you have a good night and we will see you tomorrow night. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end it. <laughs>